Hi, I'm John Weeks, and this is the Standards Tech and Science Daily Podcast. Coming up, why AstraZeneca has withdrawn its COVID vaccine. First, though, new research suggests chemicals in flavoured vapes could be highly toxic when heated. Researchers used AI to simulate the effect of heating chemicals found in 180 vape flavours and found that 505 hazardous chemicals are formed as a result of vaping, including 127 which are acutely toxic, meaning they pose significant adverse health effects after immediate or short-term exposures, and 153 health hazards. Liquid flavorings in e-cigarettes come from the food industry where they are safe, but they're then heated to high temperatures, so that forms vapor, which is then inhaled. The researchers said these flavorings weren't intended to be heated to high temperatures and inhaled, and suggested the number of chemical entities in e-liquids should be restricted. A 2022 study published in the British Medical Journal said nicotine vaping is not risk-free, and more long-term studies of the effects are needed. An 18-month-old girl who was born deaf has had her hearing restored as the first patient on a new groundbreaking gene therapy trial. Opal was born with auditory neuropathy, a condition caused by the disruption of nerve impulses traveling from the inner ear to the brain due to a fault in the O2OF gene. Last September, she received an infusion containing the working gene to her right ear, and just four weeks later, her parents noticed her hearing improving when she reacted to the sound of loud clapping. In February this year, 24 weeks after surgery, tests in Cambridge showed Opal could also hear soft sounds like a whisper, and it's thought her hearing could even improve further. Up to 18 youngsters from the UK, Spain and the US are being recruited to the trial and will be followed up for five years. AstraZeneca has announced it's withdrawing its COVID vaccine from the market due to plummeting demand. In December 2020, the vaccine became the second COVID-19 jab to be approved for use in the UK after being developed by scientists in Oxford. Estimates suggest that the rollout of the jab saved 6.3 million lives around the world. But AstraZeneca said that the rise of new variants in the virus which causes COVID-19 has shifted market demand towards newer vaccines designed to better tackle those variants. A new AI model developed by Google DeepMind has shown it can be used to predict how all of life's molecules interact with each other with unprecedented accuracy. The team behind the program, called AlphaFold3, say it could help supercharge the hunt for new drugs and treatments for diseases including cancer, Parkinson's, tuberculosis, and more. The AI tool is able to accurately predict the structure of proteins, DNA, RNA, and other molecules, how they interact, and how the smallest of changes in these can affect biological functions that can lead to diseases. It can also help scientists predict how these molecules will interact with potential treatments, such as antibodies and drugs. Sir Demis Hassabis, founder and chief exec of DeepMind, said the program gives researchers a tool set that can increase the speed of the drug discovery process massively and transform our understanding of the biological world. Coming up, has China sent a secret robot to the moon? Stay up to date with the latest tech and science news. Hit follow during the break. Welcome back. A researcher has warned that AI chatbots, known as dead bots, which simulate the language and personalities of dead people, risk distressing loved ones through unwanted digital hauntings. AI ethicist Dr. Tom Ash Holonek from the University of Cambridge said the potential psychological effect, particularly at an already difficult time, could be devastating. The researchers said that when people sign up to be virtually recreated after they die, the resulting chatbots could be used by companies to surreptitiously advertise products to users in the manner of a departed loved one. Dr. Holonek said people might develop strong emotional bonds with such simulations, which will make them particularly vulnerable to manipulation. A study suggests a tiny implant that wraps around the spinal cord could offer new ways to treat spinal injuries that cause paralysis and disability. A team of engineers, neuroscientists and surgeons from the University of Cambridge have developed the devices which record the nerve signals going back and forth between the brain and the spinal cord. 
It's hoped the new implants could one day lead to treatments for spinal injuries without the need for brain surgery, which would be far safer for patients. Tests in live animals and human cadaver models showed the devices could also stimulate arm and leg movement and bypass complete spinal cord injuries, where communication between the brain and the spinal cord had been interrupted. And finally, it looks like China has sent a mystery rover to the moon. New photos released by the China Academy of Space Technology show an undisclosed small grey object with wheels strapped to the side of the Chang'e 6 lander. It was launched into space last Friday and is due to land on the far side of the moon next month. A statement from the Shanghai Institute of Ceramics, which provided components for the mission, suggests that the undisclosed robot has an infrared imaging spectrometer, but that's all we know about it. And not much is known about the mission on the whole either, but China is aiming to become the first ever nation to return rock samples from the lunar far side. It's also on a mission to have astronauts there by 2030. You're up to date. Come back at four o'clock and search for The Standard Podcast for the latest news and analysis. We're back tomorrow afternoon at one. See you then.